Tell me if this sounds familiar. You get to the end of your day, you're thinking about how your day went, and you find yourself feeling a bit empty. All the things that you wanted to do, that you planned to do, you didn't get done. You got sucked into that new show, maybe you lingered a bit too long at dinner, and you just didn't get around to painting. Or maybe you did get around to painting, but you absolutely hated what you made and you stopped after 10 minutes. And you say, tomorrow I'm back at it. Tomorrow we're doing it. We're gonna paint for three hours, everything's gonna be good. And then tomorrow comes and that plan that you had sounds a little less doable as the day goes on. You gotta feed yourself, you gotta feed the kids, the dog, maybe try to work out. Oh, the carpet needs vacuuming. Oh, I forgot to call my grandma back. Oh, gotta walk the dog now. Oh crap, and that dentist appointment, I still haven't scheduled it. And the excitement of your painting plan just sort of fizzles and becomes another chore. If we don't have control over our schedules, our days can easily be filled with urgent yet very unmeaningful things. So I have a trick that really helps. Actually, it helps a lot. I use this trick anytime I feel unmotivated or too busy or just feel like I don't have the momentum to get things done, especially painting or artwork. But really, you can use this for anything in your life. And that trick is setting a timer. Now, the key with setting timers, in my opinion, is to set a pretty short amount where it kind of feels like a breeze. Something about setting a timer just puts me into action mode. I don't really know why. The timer somehow feels like a person in front of me, like counting down and keeping me accountable, just like a coach right in front of me. When it comes to painting or really any creative endeavor, it can often take a little while to sort of get in the flow of that creativity. Whereas things like vacuuming or dishes, it's kind of easy to just jump in and out if you need to. With creation, I really think setting a timer that's long enough to give a buffer so you have time to get in the flow state, but short enough so that it's very doable on a busy schedule. So I really like a one hour timer for painting, but I would say 30 and 45 minutes is also really effective. You can even do shorter if you don't have a lot of setting up or cleaning up, like if you're a watercolor painter or something. So it just kind of depends on your schedule and the cleanup but you know shoot for 30 minutes to an hour and if you do that like daily it really adds up I mean I think we always underestimate what we can do you know like sometimes I'll set a timer for 10 minutes to clean my house and I always get so much more done than I think I can so it's like all those things that I'm avoiding really only take a couple minutes we just think that they're gonna take longer so if you do an hour or even 30 minutes for painting you'll probably get more done than you expect so once I set my time you know 45 minutes uh, I just say okay you're just gonna paint anything you can in this 45 minutes and you're off to the races and then when it's over I'm done and I know that in my head like I know there's an end like a fixed end time and I think that really motivates me too because I'm not just letting myself have all day there's a fixed time and I know the end is in sight which motivates me because I'm lazy and I don't really want to do work so I just think it really helps you not to you know procrastinate if you're watching a show while you paint like sometimes I can get kind of sucked into the show and take my time you know everything's cool but like then you don't get as much done so if I just set the timer don't worry about my show or my podcast just kind of like I'll put something on but just kind of get to work um, I do feel that I'm more efficient and just focused. It's really all about momentum here. You know, learning to harness momentum is so helpful. You know, as creators, as makers, we often work alone. So whenever we can kind of create like an external force of accountability, you know, I think that's a really big gift because we don't really have that. We don't usually have bosses or collaborators as often as other fields. So I know I really benefit from just creating these like false, you know, pieces of momentum sort of. <laughs> just things that can kind of boost me and, you know, keep me on track.
I would also say that limitation is at play here as well. So Parkinson's law states that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion, meaning the time that you give a task is how long it will take. We all know this with like tests in college, you know, if you have a month, then you're gonna wait until the last day of the month to do it. Versus if you have two hours, you will do it in those two hours. If you give yourself unlimited time to finish a painting, you may never finish it or you'll just take forever. Whereas if you give yourself an hour and you say, I'm gonna finish a painting in one hour, you'll finish it in the hour, you know? And you'll just really learn to simplify for what's important and what to focus on instead of just getting lost in all the details and like options, you know? So with the timer, we are narrowing our focus and we're shortening the allotted time so that we can get to work and have a fixed set amount for a task. And our brain just kind of fire up and they say what's the most important thing tackle it execute and we just sort of go into tunnel vision which is a good thing in making art if you already use timers in your life I would love to hear about it you know what's your experience do you think it helps with your painting practice I just think this tip is so helpful in daily life in so many ways but especially with art practice and painting again I'm all about anything that can kind of just boost our motivation and focus and just help us sort of tune out all the noise and get to work because that can be really difficult in this day and age. Okay, well thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you like my videos and happy painting and happy timer setting.